we want to evaluate the indefinite integral. Notice our integral contains powers of the secant function and powers of the tangent function. When we have an integral that fits this form, there are two main strategies. One strategy is when the exponent on the secant function is even, which is not our case, and the second strategy is when the exponent on the tangent function is odd, which is what we have. But let's go ahead and review both strategies. First, as we mentioned in our case, because we have an odd power of tangent, we want to save a factor of secant tangent and then convert the remaining factors to secants. We want to do this because we're going to let u equal secant x and therefore differential u equals secant x tangent x dx. So this is the reason why we need to save a factor of secant x tangent x. But while we're here, let's review the other strategy which does not apply in this example. If the power of secant is even, we would save a secant squared factor and convert the remaining factors to tangents. We would do this because we would let u equal tangent x and therefore differential u would be equal to secant squared x dx. But again, in our case, because we have an odd power on the tangent function, we're going to save one factor of secant x tangent x. So to show this, let's rewrite this. We're going to factor out a factor of secant and tangent and write it next to dx, which would leave us with secant squared x times tangent to the fourth x and then times the factor of secant x tangent x that we're going to save. The reason we want to do this is we're going to let u equal secant x and therefore differential u will equal secant x tangent x dx. Notice using these substitutions, if we let u equal secant x, this would be u squared. And if differential u is equal to secant x tangent x dx, all of this is just differential u. Leaving us with tangent to the fourth x, which we'll now write in terms of secant and then in terms of u. We can write tangent to the fourth x in terms of secant using the fact that tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus one. But because we have four factors of tangent, we'll actually have the quantity secant squared x minus one squared. So we can now write this as the integral of secant squared x. And then again, instead of tangent to the fourth x, we'll have secant squared x minus one squared. And then we still have our secant x tangent x dx. But now we can write this in terms of u. This would be u squared. This would be the quantity u squared minus one squared. And all of this would be differential u. So once again, we'd have u squared times the quantity u squared minus one squared differential u. Now we're gonna square this quantity and then multiply it by u squared. So we'd have u squared minus one times u squared minus one. So we have the integral of u squared times, we have u to the fourth minus u squared minus u squared, that's minus two u squared, and then plus one. And now we'll distribute the u squared. So we'd have u to the sixth minus two u to the fourth plus u squared. And now we can integrate using the power rule of integration. So we'd have u to the seventh divided by seven minus two times u to the fifth divided by five plus u to the third divided by three plus c. And now for the last step, we'll substitute secant x for u. So this would be one seventh secant to the seventh x minus two fifths secant to the fifth x plus one third secant to the third x plus c. This would be our antiderivative. 
So this would be our strategy when the power on the tangent function is odd. I hope you found this helpful.